Janae. Benton, I'm sorry that it is so cold here and, and, and everyone else who's been part of the show has gotten to be nice and warm and inside, but you are a badass. Thank I'm very layered. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, and, you're, and, and we just figured, you know, you're tough and you can hit. Like, yeah, nimble. I'm on Broadway, you know, we can do things. That's right. The show Broadway. must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. She's an actress, a singer, and now starring on Broadway. And this is, of course, her role in Natasha Pierre. Pierre. and the Great Comet of 1812. You play a Russian countess. I do. Give me a line. Give me what your most countessian line. Oh, my god. Uh, my most countessian line, I guess, would have to be, I can't bear to think of this. I'll shut myself in my room and try on new dresses. <laughs> That's countessy, I think. I want him now, at once, to embrace him and cling to him. No one can understand. So besides becoming a countess, describe your challenges as an actress of color, an actor of color, compared to somebody maybe who looks like me, who's a very pale color and probably blue at this point because I'm cold. You know, obviously there's all the challenges of being an actor and getting trained and getting into acting conservatories and then getting an agent and then getting auditions. It's like every step is sort of you have to get accepted, unfortunately. But when it comes to being an actress of color, being a black woman, specifically, stereotypes and the roles that are written for you are unfortunately limited. And so having the opportunity to play a character that you actually relate to, like I relate to Natasha far more than I relate to a lot of the characters of the stories that I'm supposed to be able to tell. I think it's about what Natasha represents as a character. You know, she represents grace and beauty and innocence and light and, desire and when you only have white women getting to represent that it affects how the world sees us you know that's how i feel about myself the more i just look in the mirror i'm like oh hope desire exactly yeah yeah <laughs> just light in the world yeah greenly that's how i feel so that's how you me. feel no, but, is that really what you think is that i mean that's the that those roles are set aside for women who look more like me than more look, than look like you statistically that's the case and so i hope that moments like this are changing that you know because growing up watching rom-coms and the women who were in the beautiful lighting, and corsets never looked like me, so. Well, it looks like you now. Yeah. Natasha's been a very exciting kind of testimony for me to be like, you can be yourself, and hopefully we're getting to a place where there's room for us to tell the stories that we're good at telling. Also, you became such a huge fan favorite in the second season of Unreal, playing Ruby. Ruby wins the day, okay? Spoiler alert, she wins Spoiler. the day. If a girl like you ever had a shot, this is it. Listen. You really want to make a difference? Win this bitch. People made a big deal over the way the show handled the Black Lives Matter and police brutality, and I didn't have the same reaction a lot of people did. What was your reaction? I loved the way my character arc was handled. Um, I think it's touchy. I think that in the end I landed on, look, even if it's messy, there are a lot of audience members who've never really thought about why this discussion matters, and so yes. maybe it caused them to think a little bit. And so I was thankful for that. I'm with you. Better to try it. Better to try Better it. Better go a little bit down the road than pretend the road doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I agree. Putting color aside, putting any sort of cultural expectations aside, what is your dream role? I think more so than like a specific role. Like it's always been my dream to be in like a romantic comedy. Those are the movies that I loved. Like The Holiday and The Notebook and Titanic and all of those sort of epic romance stories. I would love to get to do something like that, and I hope that's next on the list. Uh, but I think that all of those movies I just listed, there's no people of color that are the main source of that story. Um, but being of color wouldn't get in the way of the story. Not at all. That, talk to the casting directors and the producers. I'm down. Let's I'm do it. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not, right? I mean, it, playing a Russian countess does seem like, oh, wow, that's really against type, you know. But being but a, the, someone in love is just being someone in love. Someone in love, exactly. I'm very excited to see you take on whatever your dream role, whatever it is. Yeah, me too. And uh, cheers to you, my cheers. friend. Cheers.